Had one hit in four bats, but he stole two bases and scored a run. And he hits a line drive to center field. Florian Goods a few steps to his left, makes an easy catch. One out. Steinlein hit that ball hard. Cody on base. Strike three called on the outside corner. And Palacios is caught looking. Look at pitch coming. Leighton can really look for something. And he swings and lines it towards the gap in right center field. A long run for Basel. He dives. The ball hits off of his glove and rolls to the wall. Florian Goods is rounding third, and now he's held up at the last moment as the throw was retrieved very quickly by Bruno Auernhammer. Cedric Basel nearly made a fantastic catch in deep right center field. However, it's a double, and runners are on second and third. Sanchez. Breaking ball, fly ball, right center field, long run for Auernhammer. He dives and makes the catch. A great catch by Auernhammer. Runners tagging. A run scores. That's Flurry and Goodson. The throw to third base is not in time to get Leighton. Solingen leads by a score of one and nothing on a sack fly off the bat of Sanchez. So here's Treasel's first pitch to him. It is lined hard to center field. Coming on Bossel, and he dives. The ball hits off his glove and goes behind him. Brookmeyer is on his way to second base. He's thinking about three. He's being waved there. And he is going to make it with a triple standing up. Here's the one strike pitch. Hit on the ground, through the hole into right field, a base hit. It's 2 nothing Solingen. As Brookmeyer will walk home. That is an unearned run. Deals 0-2. Breaking ball got him. Down and in. And Auernhammer chases it. That was. Breaking ball got him. So he strikes out two straight, does Hughes, both on breaking balls. Here it comes. Pop fly towards the right field line, a long run for Brookmeyer, and he dives and did not make the catch. The ball's a fair ball. Steinlein on his way to second base, and the throw goes into left field, but it's backed up out there by Steffens. Brookmeyer with it. Slap to right field, Brookmeyer racing over, and he makes the catch. Sasha Brookmeyer got a good jump on that line drive. He took a direct route and made a nice running catch, stabbing it waist high and catching it in the heel of his glove to take away a base hit and an RBI from Palacios. Fly ball slapped down the right field line. It is a fair ball, base hit all the way into the corner. Sanchez racing around third. He is being waved. The throw comes to Klein. Now the throw to the plate, not in time. As Auernhammer threw the ball to the wrong cutoff man, it's an RBI double, and Solingen leads 3 0. Sanchez coming around. There's the 3 2 pitch to him. Strike three, fastball to knees on the outside corner. Treasel gets his second strikeout. And Auernhammer lines a base hit to left field. That one was in a hittable zone. That's probably Bruno Auernhammer on second base and the pitch. Breaking ball, strike three is called, and Steinlein knew it. The inning is over. Uh, Andre Hughes completely fooling Lucas Steinlein. And on. Two one pitch. There's a line drive caught between the legs by Andre Hughes. Boom, bang, boom. That was a hard boom, rocket off the bat friend. of Palacios. And the that's been the difference. There's a fly ball sliced off to deep left field. Steffen's going way back, and he's not going to get it. The ball bounces and goes all the way to the wall. Siegler racing to second base. He's going to stop there with a stand-up double. So far... 2-2, two -two. got him swinging on that breaking ball down in the dirt. It was picked by Palacios, and the out is recorded. Strike. And a check swing on the breaking ball. Palacios is going to ask if he went around, and the first base umpire says, yes, he did. So strike three, and walked Selsemeyer. There's a swing and a pop-up. This is going to stay in play. Palacios over to the right of the home plate area, makes the catch, and the inning is over, a 1-2-3 yeah, inning. Where there were a couple of... Attempted diving catches, breaking ball hit hard on a line to Peterson. He makes the catch, and that's the end of the inning. Reach base in this game. There's a line drive into center field. There's a base hit. Steinlein has himself two hits. Two and two the count. There's a line drive to right field. Brookmeyer racing over, not going to get it. It's a base hit, and it's going to go all the way to the wall. Steinlein is racing to third, and he is going to be held at third as Brookmeyer comes up firing the ball to Dustin Hughes. It's a double for Ziegler, and now the Disciples have a threat. They have runners on second and third. Mitch, who had two home runs this year, there's ball four. Breaking ball, hit in the air to right field and deep. Brookmeyer and Goodson. Goodson with the catch. Here comes Steinlein from third. He's going to score, and it is now 3-1 to one as the Disciples get a run on a sack fly off the bat of Mitch Stefan. Here's the pitch. There go the runners. Breaking ball inside, and it hit him. The bases are loaded. 
the 0-2 pitch to Ty Erickson coming right now. Breaking ball is outside, ball one. And Harpkup thought he had strike three. But base is loaded in two outs in the eighth. The pitch. A fly ball to right field. Brookmeyer racing over into the gap. He's called off by Goodson. And he good. He missed the ball. Two runs are going to score. The game is tied. And that is a huge mistake by Flurry and Goodson. He called up Brookmeyer when he didn't have a play on the ball. The game is tied. Erickson goes to third. And Klein goes, uh, excuse me, Erickson goes to second. Erickson, uh, Klein goes to third. Has not allowed a run since the third, the 3-1 and a breaking ball, and he walked it. So Treasel has been very careful with Tanner Layton, and he has now walked it for the second time. And that's going to be it for Treasel. Lucas Steinlein is going to come into the ball game. I can see him already depending the bullpen. On Sanchez, there goes Layton, swinging a ground ball to the shortstop Siegler. He gloves it, throws to first in time, and Layton running, keeps them out of a double play. Sanchez grounds out 6-3. line, dealing to Hartkopf. Breaking ball hit on the ground towards the hole. Ziegler, and he goes under his glove in the left field. He tried to backhand it. Layton coming to the plate. The throw is over, everybody. Layton will score. Taking second base on the play is Hartkopf. It is 4-3 Solingen. That'll be a base well, I don't know if it'll be a base hit. Ziegler tried to backhand it. He did not get it. There's a 1-2. Slow curve, and he hits a little blooper to short right field. A long run for Layton, and Brookmeyer is out there. Pulls up, makes the catch. And Patrice flies out for the first out. Colgan, two outs away from winning game three. As Hartcup comes to the stretch. 2-1 pitch. Big chopper on a huge bounce to Daniel Sanchez. He goes first in time. Steinlein rounds out too short, and there are two outs and nobody on. To Jose Palacios. Ground ball to the hole, and it's a base hit, and the Disciples are still alive, and they get what they wanted. Chris Ziegler will come to bat with Palacios on first. And a ground ball, diving stop by Hughes up his glove, shovel toss to first, and safe. Ziegler's in there. He just barely beat it as Hartkopf was a little bit late covering first base, and the Disciples live to have one more batter come to the plate, and it's the guy they want, Josh Peterson. When the Disciples tied the game with two outs in the ninth inning against Regensburg, it was Peterson that got the hit. Here's the 2-2. There's a drive to deep left center field. Goods are racing over, and he's going to slide and make the catch. And the Solingen Alligators win the ball game by a score of 4-3. to three. It took a sliding catch by Florian Goodsa for the final out to be recorded. Josh Peterson and the Disciples strand two runners in the bottom at the top of the ninth inning. A really fun ball game to watch. And Solingen comes out victorious. 4-3 to three the final score, and they have a two-game-to-one lead in this best-of-five series.